All right, guys. So um, we have one implementation here where uh, we can search any employee based on the employee ID, and we are displaying that in the table. That is okay. We can create a case for it. We can display the uh, details, further detail of those entries. We can change the layout to display it. Um, basically, we can change the template here to display it in one row and all that. That is all okay. But sometimes we want that these things to be displayed in more uh, more attractive way. So at the moment we are using table. Is there any other way where we can uh, display the list of item in a more attractive way other than the table? I mean table is just the list, right? So that's where a concept of repeating layout or dynamic layout comes into the picture. Repeating dynamic layout. Okay. So here too we display list, list of values, but not using a table, but using sections, by using sections. Same concept I'm going to do, okay, using repeating dynamic layout. So first I'm going to display the data of the employee. So I need to create a section in the employee that I will display there, okay. So I'm going to create a section there because it is employee. So it has to be created in the employee class. VXC data employee. And let me create a new section. Employee info. We want to display a compact one. We already have some section for employee detail, but th that has a lot of detail. We don't want to leverage that. We want to leverage a very small uh, section where we will not display all the detail, but very less detail, okay? So I'm just going to display ID and name. ID and name all read only, sorry, not this. A name. only. This is it. Now let's go back to this section, search employee, and I'm going to make this table invisible. Never, it will never display. And then I will add repeating dynamic layout. This should be displayed only when the search criteria enter name is not null. One second. First of all, I will need a data page for that. Uh, this only supports data page and page list. It doesn't support report definition. I already have a report definition created here. So I'll just put it into a data page. Okay. So create data page. So. 
this is page list it will have multiple records what parameter do we need to pass name which is mandatory right uh, we will use that same report definition we will pass the parameter name as it is coming Save it. Let's search. Let's run and verify if it is returning the results properly. Four records. Good. With this one, we are going to this has to be passed as a parameter. So I'll copy that. And now I'll say use data page P underscore employee list by name. This is the parameter. Should be visible only when this parameter is not null. Okay. Now I can drag a section here. I can drag that section that we created, which is what was the name? Employee info. Let me refresh this. This section, I can drag it directly in the repeating dynamic layout. Come on. second so let me add that again this should actually accept that but Repeating dynamic layout, data page, employee list by name, this is the parameter, we pass some more, yeah, cool, okay, let's uh, specify the visibility. Okay, save it. Now I'm going to search again. This time, this is giving me uh, basically sections are being displayed one after other. At the moment, its structure is stack. Okay, now you can change that the layout format. You can change it into let's say inline triple. Container format default. Let it be. Okay, so it will display multiple value like this. You can have uh, basically on your section. You can have uh, or in in this one uh, in the layouts or container. You can have the border and all that to display clear distinction. Let's see if we have any container format defined for ourselves. We did create a few. A demo container, let's see if that's working. Okay, actually, this is not what we wanted to do. Let it be default only in the section. This is the section. I'm going to convert it into full section editor for better control. And here I'm going to introduce that container. See, now this looks more better, right? 
rather than the table. You could have that button to create uh, basically cases and all that here as well. Create service request. Create service request. And on the action, you say um, on the click of it, we will create a work object. Create work just like we were doing on the on this button. Before that, we need to uh, do that data transform set employee ID and ID has to be passed. So let me where is that employee info? Add run data transform. Drag it on the top. So set employee ID dot ID. And then create work. In the create work, we have this service request class. Any value you want to set immediately, you can set that. Save it. Now Okay, the button is not being shown probably. Okay, sorry. So this repeating and we layout. Go to the operations. On the click, we will say flow action, display employee detail, submit, save. All right, sorry, that was actually being shown, but because of the color, it was not being seen here. Okay, so you click a button and you get a case created. The values are type, values are automatically populated. So, this is another uh, way of implementing uh, basically display of the screen. 
I can probably now change it back to the container so that it looks a little bit different. So the button was being shown, but color was same, so we couldn't see that. Okay. So this uh, you can embed images if you want for every employee and all those things you can do. And you can create the cases from here. So this is another way. Tiles. This is this we call tile view. This is how um, instead of displaying the items in the table, you can display in the tile. You can still take actions for every individual items that you get. So that's conclude basically our demo for using repeating dynamic layout to display the value, the content that we are sourcing from any, uh, any external source or from the database or from anywhere, right? Using database. So we're showing the database results into a more attractive way, into a more attractive uh, tiles representation. And you can still take all those actions that you wish to. All right.